Hey guys, it's uh, Smurf again. Uh, I got a cold, so uh, don't mind the, the way I sound right now. Uh, just a uh, another look through. Uh, everything's doing good. Uh, this guy's mad because I just moved him. So is the tooth core on the back. But the colors I'm getting off of these guys, they're changing. Uh, the lights that I'm using are T5's metal highlights. Uh, they were under LEDs. And what they're doing is they're getting a... Uh, they're getting like a, a blue hue with some green and a lot of color, but uh, one of the things I like to notice is uh, kind of morphing your colors around, changing them up to what they look like. Everything is, uh, you know, looking good. Everything is growing differently. Everything's happy right now. The colors are vibrant. Everybody's moving. Everybody's loving it. But another thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, hi. Yeah, I moved him from my little three gallon. He likes it in here better, so I'm gonna keep him in here. Uh, my uh, my uh, my Gobi, my little. Uh, oh God. Oh God. What was he? Uh, oh, my little Gobi. I forgot what it was. Uh, anyways, but uh, my Gobi. They were supposed to be reef safe and. Uh, he, I had a, uh, a style of pour right here. He, uh, he was eating the back. He was eating the skin off of it. And I didn't know. And, uh, he pretty much killed it. And I didn't notice it because he only ate the back part of it. So I couldn't see. So I had a nitrate spike. And I lost my cup coral that was up there. Because of the nitrate spike. Uh, oh god. If I can remember what he was, I'm, I'm a dork. But he, he was a real nice one. He was a pygmy. He was real small. It was really good, but some for some reason he just ate my coral. I feed him all the time. But yeah, uh, so guys, what I'm trying to say is, just because they say reef safe does not mean you do not need to check on them. Watch them in your tank. See what they do. See what they're doing. If you feed him like I was, and he still does that, that's just a little weird. But uh, I have uh, no reason why he did it. No clue why. He just uh, seemed like he wanted to eat everything. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick update. Everything's doing better. I did a 10 gallon water change. I moved him. My big guy. Do -do -do. Sweet tooth. Where's he at? Do -do -do. Quit hiding. My big maroon clownfish doesn't like the little guy. But oh well, too bad for him. He has to get used to it. Uh, they seem to be getting along. Hopefully they'll mate. Maybe a little hybrid action going on little toadstool frag he's uh he's growing into a little beast off of mama she's all healed up but yeah uh the lights i'm using let's see if i can get a uh uh is it gonna adjust there we go so right here i got a 460 blue t5 i, I have two of these i have one on the other side and i have a purple plus on this side, I got a 420 Atinic and then another 460. So I'm not running any white lights right now. I'm running blues at different spectrums. Why? For the color. Yes, the corals will grow a little slower, but they will grow, people. Do not believe just because it's blue, it won't grow. Everything will grow under blue lights. It's just that it's going to give it a more vibrant color, and it won't grow as fast. Now, under the metal highlights, everything will grow fast, period. Everything. It's just strong lights. The metal highlights not on right now because I don't want it to get too hot. Hi, Cranberry. Hi, buddy. See, there's Sweet Tooth trying to pick on him. But they'll get along. But yes, guys, uh, please, uh, watch your fish. Watch what they do with your corals. Watch your tank. I know a lot of people always wonder what's going on why is something doing bad watch your tank guys find out what's going on don't just assume something watch your tank guys enjoy your tanks guys alright I'll see you guys soon happy reefing guys bye bye